Hi, my name is Paula Fry. I have spent a lifetime investigating, researching, and trying the best diets and treatments for the pain and inflammation of autoimmune disease. The study of nutrition has been my lifelong passion. I've had rheumatoid arthritis for almost 50 years, so I know the pain of this disease. I am pain-free today, so I'm able to live an abundant and full life. I've written a book called 21 Keys for Renewing Your Health, which is based on years of research. These videos are based on my book. I hope they help you, especially if you have arthritis, inflammation, and pain. My prayer is these videos will help you renew your health. Hi, today I want to talk to you about arachidonic acid. That's kind of a big word, but it can play a big part in your pain and inflammation of autoimmune disease. I noticed after uh, Thanksgiving that I would feel bad, I would, my joints would ache, and I would really hurt the next morning. Uh, I've been dealing with rheumatoid arthritis for a lot of years, and uh, so I, I've noticed that some of these foods really did hurt me. And I, I thought, well, maybe it's the pumpkin pie or, you know, all the other foods for Thanksgiving. But over the years, I figured out that it was the turkey. And through a lot of research, I found that turkey is high in arachidonic acid, which is very inflammatory. And um, I've talked to so many people that when they go on diets, they'll eat turkey patties and turkey uh, salads and turkey, turkey, turkey. And I know one lady that I talked to said, I am hurting so bad in my hips every night. I just feel terrible. Well, it's because of the arachidonic acid in Turkey causes a lot of inflammation. So I, I really try to avoid Turkey. I eat a tiny bit at Thanksgiving just because that's what we do. And I, I try to stay away from the fat, but it's, it's in the meat too. Uh, omega-6, fatty acids contain the arachidonic acid and we have so many omega-6 foods in our diet today omega-6 is essential fatty acid you need it but when there's an imbalance of the omega-6 and omega-3s it causes all kinds of health problems the imbalance of the fatty acids may explain the risk of diseases like asthma coronary heart disease uh, many forms of cancer, autoimmune diseases, nerve diseases, all of which were believed to stem from inflammation of the body. The imbalance between omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, they are thinking may contribute to obesity and depression and dyslexia and hyperactivity and even the tendency towards violence. And especially, you know, when, when a pregnant woman is carrying a baby, it's really important that she get those omega-3 fatty acids and the essential fatty acids in her body. So this is, you know, a lot of these things, they're, they're increasing rates and it could be that we're just not, we're getting too much erotic, arachidonic acid and not enough of the omega-3s. Uh, and not all fish contain omega-3s. and um, there, there are a lot of fish like tilapia it contains a lot of erotic arachidonic acid. <laughs> I have a hard time saying that. But, um, but you can also find it in catfish and yellowtail and mackerel. Mackerel is a good source of omega-3s too, but uh, you have to be careful with mackerel because of the mercury rates. Um, mercury is very toxic. I always try to buy Alaskan, a wild caught salmon, and we're really fortunate that we have coho salmon in a lake near here, and my husband catches those on a good day, not all the time, but we really like those. So, um, you know, you, red meat is another thing that has arachidonic acid, and um, it a lot of it is because of the way the, the meat is treated, the cows are treated. 
they're put in feedlots and uh, fed grains um, like corn and um, they just try to fatten them up. Soybeans, they feed them soybeans and corn and a diet that is really high in omega-6s. So um, it and it's they're very low in the anti-inflammatory omega-3s. They found that that cows that are um, grass-fed that can roam and are not sent to feedlots uh, have a lot more omega-3 fat, so they're a lot better for you. If you can buy grass-fed meat, organic grass-fed meat, that's great, and it's going to be a little more expensive. I know Smith's has it on sale every once in a while, I buy several packages. Uh, but you you just have to be careful. I I love the cattle ranchers in America. I think they they have helped feed our country. I I'm not against all red meat, but I think you have if you have autoimmune disease, you've got to be very careful about what you eat. And I I just appreciate the cattle ranchers that are are uh, raising grass fed beef organic grass-fed beef that's that's great and uh, it it helps people like us that do have autoimmune disease pain and inflammation chicken is a is another meat that I noticed does bother me I can eat a little bit but I really have to remove all the fat and make sure that it is um, the breast meat and and not the fattier uh, cuts of meat like the legs and the thighs and things like that uh, but there again I just eat meat one time a day and just a small portion and very very low fat cuts and if you find that meat bothers you don't eat it don't eat and I don't eat turkey anymore like I said except a little tiny piece at Thanksgiving but if you find that if you're eating a lot of turkey and you're having a lot of inflammation please don't eat it anymore chicken the same way uh, eggs are uh, high in omega-6s but a lot of the farmers have uh, started feeding their chickens flaxseed and so they're higher in omega-3s now so look for those eggs that are higher in omega-3s uh, you can look online, there's um, self-nutrition uh, data uh, website that has inflammatory rates of common fats. Just look on there. But I would really be careful about the protein sources that you eat. Uh, just just uh, be careful with the amount of meat and chicken and fish, the type of fish that you're eating. And like I said, I wouldn't eat turkey if I were you. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little information that'll help curb your inflammation and pain in your body. I've written a book called 21 Keys for Renewing Your Health. It is on Amazon, also a Kindle edition. If you found that this video helped you, and gave you information that will help you, please click the like uh, like icon. Get it out. And uh, leave comments about your uh, experiences with meat, chicken, and turkey, and eggs, protein sources. And just let me know um, how you're doing. If you have any questions, I'll answer those in a timely manner. Thank you for watching this video. God bless you.